And at the center of a controversy in Carroll County appears in court, the Carrollton police chief and another officer are accused of kidnapping Adam Horine. And for the first time tonight, we're hearing from his attorney about the allegations. WLKY's Annalisa Gale tells us what he said. Today, the judge dropped the misdemeanor charges against Adam Harine. Now, his attorney is calling for serious punishment for the Carrollton police chief and the other officer accused of putting him on a bus towards Florida. This misdemeanor sin will be dismissed without prejudice per the request of the county attorney. Adam Harine is no longer facing charges for disorderly conduct and terroristic threatening. He was being held on those charges when he was placed on a bus to Florida instead of being sent to a psychiatric hospital. It's horrendous what they did. I mean, it, it truly is. It, it is violates every civil liberty that a United States citizen has. It's, it's unbelievable. Harine's attorney says this video from the Kentucky Center for Investigative Reporting shows Harine being checked out of jail. Police Chief Michael Wilhoyt and Officer Ronald Dicko were indicted. They didn't have no right, you know, taking him out of jail and then taking him to the bus station and putting him on a bus. Harine's friend Patrick Harmon showed up at the courthouse Friday to show his support. He can't really take up for himself, you know, and I, I try to be there for him. Orion is still facing an escape charge, which his attorney believes will also be dropped next month when he returns to court. When the police take you out of jail and put you on a Greyhound bus, the fact that you escape doesn't really exist. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be proceeding on that however we need to. A trial is scheduled for December for the Carrollton police chief and the officer charged with kidnapping, custodial interference, and official misconduct. In Carroll County, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. Carrollton Mayor Rob Adams says both the police chief and the officer will still work for the city, but in a different capacity.